Minecraft 1.18 is now officially out, and with the new update, I decided that I wanted to try out a hardcore series. I've actually never done a series like this before, so we're gonna see how long I can last. Hopefully we can get a couple episodes, but if you do enjoy the series, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that stuff. And yeah, with that, let's get into the series. Okay, so looking around here, don't really see a ton, but this is a spruce forest, so I mean we could we could get some uh, berries. Here's some over here. We could just get some of these for a little bit of food. All right, 23. That's that's all right. Uh, there's some sort of new cave system here. It's um yeah, I don't really feel safe going down there quite yet, but I'll get some stone. Just so we can get like a stone pickaxe and stuff like that. And since this is hardcore, I'm probably going to be playing this a lot safer than I normally would. Uh, usually, usually I do pretty risky stuff and I don't think I'm going to be doing that. The one thing I do want to get my hands on a lot of though is copper because uh, it's a lot easier to use now. There's, there's uh, the cut version of it. Oh, there's some iron here too. Um, where basically instead of just getting one you get four now which is going to be a lot easier for like building out of it so i think i'm probably going to use a lot more of that in my builds but i guess from this angle we can kind of see what's going on down here um it's really weird that there's grass here that's kind of strange but yeah there's some coal probably need to grab that to be honest it looks like it's pretty safe right over in this area, at least. So I'm just going to quickly make my way down here and grab a little bit of this. How did I not see this part? This is actually pretty cool. There's iron down there, but I am, there's no way I'm getting that. All right, I'm just going to keep going. I am also pretty new to this update. I haven't really played it that much. I looked around a little bit, but I have not done any like survival that much. Oh, we got an ocean over here. Let's make ourselves a boat. I'm just gonna make sure I get some more wood, just a little bit more. And I think I saw a shipwreck, uh, which if it actually was one, that would be pretty nice. Although something important that I do wanna consider is I probably want to get sheep so that I can make a bed and sleep through the night. Um, and looking around, I do not see any. I wanna remember where that ocean is, but I feel like this should be prioritized. There's a lot of cows, but nothing else. To be honest, there was probably a sheep somewhere that I just completely missed. And looking around though, uh, this is around where my I spawned, and I don't see any. All right, well, I guess if I go over here, here's a plains biome. Those those have sheep, so maybe we can. More cows? Is this literally just... It's its just cows! Well, I mean, I'm set on food now and leather, but this is not really what I was looking for. Oh, wait. Sheep. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna kill them because it's only, like, two. Oh, wait, there's one over here, too. I'm still not gonna kill them, though. Uh... I was, yeah, I was gonna make shears because I actually have two iron. Oh, I also probably do want to um, cook some of this food so I have some stuff besides these berries. And we got a bed. But we're, we're pretty much safe for the night now. So I, I think I'll just stay here for the night and maybe tomorrow we can go get a village. There's probably some around here. There's probably at least one, but I did see a shipwreck over there. Although it is getting close to night, I I don't want to be too late, so let's just let's just chill out here. And I also I do want to keep track of my days. So, all right, after I sleep here, we are gonna be on day two. Just just to remind myself. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Junk. I guess I'll take the coal. And then is that the only chest in this one? I feel like there's more. Yeah, there's one right right here. Uh, buried treasure map. Yes, that is what I was looking for. It looks like it's on this beach right over here. Kind of by where that turtle is. 
Yes, perfect. Yo! Oh, this is nice. Uh, we're set on iron for a while now. A lot of gold, too. Emeralds, food. I'll take it. I guess I'll take the crystals, too. Why not? So, you know what? I'll even take the chest. Now, since this is specifically a 1.18 playthrough, I don't really want to settle in this area because it looks kind of normal. I want to I wanna find some of the new, like, steeper mountain terrain. And I think that would be really cool if we settled somewhere over there. I mean, I'll probably just boat along this ocean until I find something cool. What's that? That's just... Oh, that's like the stone beach. You know, I'm going to take this and let's, let's get out of here. I've been waiting long enough. So with that, I got on my boat and began setting sail in search for new terrain. And after not that long, I found this area. Oh, there's some mountains. Not very tall, but there are some mountains over here. Let me look around here. Let's see. Let's see if this is interesting. Oh, there's a village. I think that's a that that might be a cellar for me. I mean, a village is pretty nice to have. Uh, and although although this mountain isn't very tall, it could work. I mean, we don't we don't need to have a super tall mountain. I am gonna grab all of these hay bales though. All right, that's a pretty good amount of hay. That's that's food for a very long time. Um, if we if we go around here, what what does this have to offer? I mean, it's just kind of like a mountain, but I do like that it's surrounded by ocean. I think this this could be like a really scenic view if we decided to settle down here. I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of space here to work with. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with here. So let's return to our village and sleep away the second night of our experience. All right, we are now on day three. And to be honest, things are looking pretty good so far. But I need to get some more stuff. I, I don't have a whole lot right now, to be completely honest. Um, so we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to get that sorted out. Um, and then also I need to figure out what I'm gonna be doing for a base because I probably want to get that done. So I'm just gonna throw down a chest real quickly. I guess just right out here. Uh, put whatever I don't need in here. And yeah, after that, let's go down into a cave and see what we can find. What is this over here? This might be a good cave entrance. Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's find somewhere else. Alright, so this is definitely an aquifer. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, uh, this is a bigger cave than the last one. Uh, just a little bit. Let's grab ourselves some more torches. That, that is gonna be plenty for now. Probably not plenty for later, but at least for a little bit we can, uh, have some torches. Yeah, so this isn't, this isn't exactly what you would call the safest thing in the world. Um... What do we have this way? Oh, this way is huge, and also I do not want to get shot off that ledge by a skeleton. You know, to be honest, <laughs> why why don't I just start a strip mine? I think this will be uh, this will be a little too dangerous. Yeah, let's just start a strip mine. And if we are gonna do a strip mine, we might as well do it on the village side, just so it's a little bit easier, more convenient. I guess we could just do it on the side right here, like a continuation of this path. Although, I just realized the path is actually continued up there, but that really doesn't make logical sense, so, uh, we're gonna pretend that that doesn't exist. So I think what we'll eventually do is a 3x3 hole like this, but to start off, I am not gonna be doing that because that's gonna take too long. I went mining for a little bit now. I uh, got some coal over here, a little bit of iron, copper, uh, made myself a new pickaxe because it was about to break, and then... I found this. Oh. There's something down here. What what Y level are we at? Okay, 32. So we still got a while to go. Um I can't really drop down there too easily. This could be a problem. Alright, let me go get this bucket filled up with water. I somehow forgot to do that. Uh and then I can drop it down there and then we can see what's up. All right, let's see. 
What do we got down here? Oh. You know, this actually seems like it's relatively safe right now. As long as I light this up quickly, I don't see any mobs. I'm just gonna see how much of this I can get. <laughs> it just continues. There's so much iron. Uh, okay. I think I'll get until here. There's a glow squid down there. Nice. Okay. So we can finally start picking up all this stuff. There's so much good stuff that I saw. Alright, I mined everything out, and we've got quite a bit of iron and a ton of copper. Also a lot of coal, too, which is going to be very nice. So, I think what I can do now is just kind of extend this downward. I just kind of want to continue down the strip mine. And, yeah, we can probably just continue this down now. Yo! Our first diamonds. Insane. Uh... I, or I guess I fir our first diamond. Oh, no, there's more. See, this is why you gotta mine around. There's two diamonds here. And right now we're at Y level negative 38. So we still got a little bit further down to go. I th think we want to be at around like negative 50. Oh, looks like we've got another cave. I just gotta make sure there's no mobs around here. But yeah, this just looks like a little small guy. So I don't think we have much to worry about here. Um, I want to hear zombies though. I mean, we're pretty much at negative 50 now, so we can just make our way down here and start strip mining. Yo, more diamonds. Two more only? Yeah, looks like it. I feel like there's a lot less diamonds, or like there's a lot less diamonds in each vein. Only like one or two usually now. All right, I mined out for a bit. It goes all the way out over there and I got 12 diamonds, which to be honest, isn't too bad. I honestly feel like down here, they're more common than they used to be, which is pretty nice. But uh, although this is still isn't gonna be enough, it's a great start. So um, probably, what should I make? I'm gonna go with armor. Uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with leggings and a helmet. And then we can just do iron chest plate for now. I guess I also technically did get 15 diamonds and I used some for a pickaxe, so that is not bad at all. And from that mining session, we are now on day five. So we've already uh, been playing on here for quite a little bit. And if you look at my inventory, I've got a ton of deep slate. So, uh... Yeah, we, we've got plenty of building blocks as well. I think now it's probably about time that we start working on our first build in this area. And looking around here, I want to try to find a good place to start off. Uh, we could go right on this mountainside, but I kind of want to find a little bit more of like a scenic place to start off. There was one place that caught my eye a little while back. It's a bit further off, actually, from the main village, but I think that's honestly okay. The area that caught my attention is actually right here. Right along the river, we've got this cliffside, and I feel like it'd be super cool to build our first little structure on top of this. As for what it looks like, I have no clue yet, but we're gonna be figuring that out, and yeah, I, I guess let's just cut to when it's done then. I actually decided not to cut out. This is, um course me doing a voiceover so uh for this build i needed a lot of stuff firstly i needed that granite uh i need the, some birch logs so i went over to this forest over here and accidentally stripped one of them which was uh it made me uh, unhappy but then i remembered i can uh literally just craft it up so uh that it's fine it's fine um i also needed some sandstone and i have no clue where a desert is at this point so i just went over to this small beach area and got some over here. Yeah, I just dug down a little bit and there's plenty of sandstone down here for me to get, which is pretty nice. Of course, there's the sand that's also falling on my head, which to be honest, that'd be like the worst way to die. I also realized that I need some dirt, so I decided to take it from this weirdly uh, shaped area of land because maybe it'll make it look a little bit nicer. I don't know. I didn't really feel like taking it from an area that would make it look worse. And then finally I needed some spruce, which I just went back to spawn to get. And I made sure to grab a sapling on the way back so we didn't have to do that again. But yeah, we're back over here, and now it's finally time to start building. Of course, we also need some copper, um, which is, yeah, I smelted a bunch from the mining trip. And now we are finally ready to start. So 
as you can see, kind of just uh, doing the wall here. It's just going to be a bunch of little jump cuts doing a little bit of terraforming. Um, and you can kind of see the style that we're going for here. Uh, not, not like a giant house, but just like a little small one. Very natural. I don't want to do much like square edges. Um, but yeah, just adding a little bit of details to the wall here. And then we are going to get started on the roof. And I'm also using diorite, which a lot of you who are watching maybe won't be fans of. But I, I, I personally like it. Uh, just a little bit as like an accent. And then here we go. We're starting off the roof here. Um, what I decided on was a mixture between copper and granite, and what that's actually going to do is oxidize over time part of it, and I, it's going to look really cool once it's fully oxidized. I purposely designed it so that it looks good uh, in all of its stages, so yeah, I, I won't ever have like an ugly base because my copper looks bad. Um, so that's nice. Here's like a higher upper roof segment. Um, and then I did two other copper, like, uh, sort of spires coming out the side. I think these are really cool. Um, and then, yeah, just the finishing touches over here, adding, like, the spiky points. And at the top of this one, I decided to put a lightning rod. And I believe that is gonna finish off the build. Or maybe not. No, we still have to do a little bit more. Um, I, I wanted to put some core dirt in here just to kind of texture it up, mix it up a little bit. I think it I think it looks really nice with that in there. And yeah, with the finishing touches of the build, it's time to go back to uh, regular me, not voiceover me. And just like that, we've completed our first build of the series. And I really loved how this one turned out. It actually didn't take that long. Uh, well, as you can see, we don't have interior started yet, but it only took us about five Minecraft days to build, so we're we're on uh, day 13 right now. But I have to say, I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially if we're looking at it from this angle. Like, with the cliffside and, the, like, the little mountain in the background, I just love it so much. And I, I think if we go, like, over here, yeah, I really love this angle right here. But yeah, I think that's going to be uh, about it for this episode of the series. I I'm glad I was actually able to uh, finish a episode without dying. We'll see. We'll see how many I can last. And actually, in the comments, if you want to, if you want to let me know, how long do you think I will last? How many episodes do you think I will last? I kind of feel like I won't last particularly long because it's my first time doing this, but who knows? I do play it pretty safe, so maybe. In our next episode, we are probably going to be doing work on the interior, getting that sorted out, probably filling it up with like furnaces, maybe an enchanting table set up. And I also want to uh, get some villagers sorted over here, make sure they don't die and make sure we can get them into maybe like a villager breeder or like a trading hall of sorts, maybe an iron farm. We could get that all sorted out, but yeah, it looks like, oh, what are they all doing? This, why are you all here? Well, I suppose uh, we can we can figure this out in our next episode, but yeah, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for the future episodes in the series. Uh, of course, I also have the Logcraft series, which is not going away. So if you uh, like this series, make sure to check that out because it's very similar, just SMP. And yeah, other than that, I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Good bye.